to fix the issue the first option is to install or move the game to ssd this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try to move the game to ssd and then check you can even try hdd so try to install the game to different drive and then check this has worked for many players now the next step is to delete the cache folder in this location now for this open file explorer this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app app, app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder local folder and here you can see battlefield game data open this folder and over here you can see the this game and this cache folder make a right click and delete it now you have to relaunch the game and if you have any other uh, folder, game data folder, make a right click and delete it. If you have only one, that's also not, not a problem. Now check. Next step is to restart Steam or EA app. So simply go to Steam, exit it, relaunch Steam and then check. If you have the EA app, exit it and then relaunch EA app and then relaunch the game. Next step is to set graphics settings to performance. So launch the game. So go to the game graphics settings and then uh, over here you can see performance preset. You can set it to performance mode. In my case right now it's balanced. So you set it to performance mode over here. Apply the changes and then check. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. Next step is to still not working. Next step is to verify or repair the game file. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done now you can launch the game if you have the game on ea app then click on manage over here and then click on repair after the repair launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator uh, for this if go to the game installation folder so manage view properties go to open folder if you have the game on steam make a right click manage browse local files and once you go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game and then click on run as administrator and then check you can even use this ea anti-cheat game service launcher make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator and then you can check or you can even uh, make a right click on the game exe file go to properties and then you can go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator let me uncheck this one and then apply click on ok launch the game you can do the same thing with this exe file now still not working the next step is to repair e anti cheat to repair e anti cheat again go to the game installation folder and then open e anti cheat make a right click on e anti cheat installer run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click on repair over here go to the game installation folder click on ok and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed select the battlefield 6 folder and then click on open once the repair is done now you can launch the game once you see install success now you can check still not working in that case you can uninstall ea anti cheat click on uninstall all once the uninstall is complete now you can launch the game and during the launch when you launch the game during the launch it will reinstall ea anti cheat so here you can see click on yes this will reinstall ea anti cheat and then you can check still not working the next step is to make exception for the game exe and exploit protection so for this type in exploit protection in windows search box and then click on exploit protection over here close the game first in my case this is launching so you can close the game and then go to program settings let me get rid of this now go to program settings and then click on add program to customize choose a path and then you can go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and once it is added now put a check on all override in my case i have already done so put a check on this override and turn this off override put a check turn this off so in my case i have checked put a check on all the override option and then in my case these are already off so if this is on like this you can turn it off if this is on turn it off make sure that you put a check on override do the same thing for all the options and then click on apply click on yes to allow and then you can launch the game in future whenever you want to remove it you can remove it and the game will go to default now the next step is to steam users uh, try downloading the beta from ea app so can, so you can use ea app you can search the game in the search box in browse the store and find open beta in ea app install it and then you can launch the game from ea app 
if you already have the game on EA app, you can try to launch the game from Steam. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the invisible weapon issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.